Alright everyone, welcome back again to more Stein's Gate. Chapter 7 has been a chapter that's been pretty focused on Ferris lately and I'm fairly certain it's also because of one of the choices I made earlier on in the game. Um, the only thing I missed the most is seeing the other characters but at the end of the day, uh, I guess I'm gonna see things through with her because like it's been pretty heavily focused on her and like at the end of the day, I kind of want to see how it all turns out but We'll see how it goes though. So if anything else, hope you all continue to enjoy. Thank you again for all the love and support. And here we go. Alright everyone, welcome back. We were headed for the lab, but got ambushed. Soon, Ferris and I surrounded by men with, ti with tires. <laughs> Fires of hatred burning in their eyes. Yeah. The crowd parts down the middle, and 4 degrees Celsius steps forward wearing a hat. I shield Ferris from my body. 4 degrees Celsius cracks his knuckles and smiles. The only thing I can do to stop faltering is to go into Hoi and Kiyoma mode. <笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑> I like how they're both saying their own thing, <laughs> completely ignoring the other. Crazy name, elegant この俺だ。ダメだ。右手か。右手か。やめてくれ。俺はもう殺したくないんだ。で、こいつ一体何なんだ。Something strikes the top of my head. One of the virals threw a can at me. シード Before I can finish, 4 degrees Celsius kicks me in the solar plexus. He grabs the top of my head and knees me repeatedly. Finally, he lets go of my hair. I start coughing as soon as I hit the ground. Next, four degrees lays into me with heavy kicks to the head and body. I raise my arms to protect my face. だから。<laughs> <laughs> He starts stomping on me with his booted heels. All I can feel is pain. I abandon all thought and wait for the storm to pass. Four degrees Celsius grabs my thumb in both hands, then he starts to twist. I'm more upset he's letting a guy like him mess with him. Dude is super skinny, man.
I hear a sound. A car's exhaust. The honking of a horn. A limousine barrels into the alleyway at terrific speed. Everyone screams and scares to avoid it. The smell of burnt rubber. Tire tracks on the asphalt. The limousine stops right in front of my fallen body. The back door opens. Nori-nasai! But I can't even stand up. There's no strength in my body left. My vision's blurry too. Slender arms wrap around my body, pulling me toward the car. The soft scent of citrus tickles my nose. I let her help me into the limousine. The door shuts, cutting off his shouting. The car speeds off like a bullet. There's a softness under my head. We're inside the limousine. My head is resting on Ferris's lap. Every inch of my body feels like it's on fire. And at the same time, there's a terrible chill in my bones. I can barely hear. My ears are ringing. The urge to vomit has receded at least. They really messed me up. According to Ferris's dad, he was racing to UPX to congratulate Ferris when he saw us. A fortunate coincidence indeed. Is this also the choice of Stein's gate? I'm no hero. If I had the strength, I would prostrate myself right now before this man. He shakes my hand firmly in gratitude. Ferris looks happy as she says that. However, I recall what Ferris told me in the ramen shop. If that's true, then to return to the original world line, I have to erase her father. To kill him, essentially. Which really sucks because he's a cool dude and he saved us. The limousine soon reaches Ferris's home. Oh, IBN 5,000。そうです。あなたは熱心なレトロPCシュー集荷とカネでより聞いていました。何かご存知ではありませんか。I end up eating dinner at Ferris's apartment. Ferris's father is extremely grateful to me and invited me up. I would have been okay with just borrowing the shower, but even prepared a change of clothes for me. And he even told me I could stay since it's still too dangerous to go outside. During the meal, I tried asking about the IBM 5100, ignoring the pain I still feel throughout my body. He smiles when I bring up his hobby of collecting old PCs. He glanced at his daughter. Ferris keeps eating her meal silently. No? All the strength drains from my body, from my efforts for nothing? Ferris's dad nods. Suza has pseudonym. My pulse rises instantly upon hearing that name. She did it. She found an IBM 5100. She brought it to Akiba. She completed her mission. Tears well up in my eyes. I bite them back. 
昔の話になるがねまだ私の会社が今ほど大きくない頃の話だルミホが誘拐されたんだ犯人はとんでもない額の身代金を要求してきてねあるいは会社を抵当に入れればなんとかなったかもしれないそんな時渡りに船とばかりに IBN5100 を高額で買い取りたいという人物が現れてねそれを売り渡すことでルミホを助けるための身代金を用意することができたんだよパパその話はやめるにゃん For some reason, Ferris's face turns red with embarrassment. If I had to say, her dad seems really happy to tell this story. Not something you'd expect from a kidnapping story. Suzu. Eh, to. France no jitsu ka da ne. Ima demo lenlaku wa tore ると mo. Nan da ったら oshie yo ka. I thought it was Suzu, okay. I politely declined the offer. There's no way the IBM 5100 will arrive from France in time, and I doubt we could afford to pay for it anyway. Plus, there's a high possibility the buyer is related to CERN, or to the rounders. I clenched my fist, then opened it again. Why won't you return to me, IBM 5100? <laughs> It's about past midnight, and I'm still awake. My body hurts too much to sleep. And then there's the question eating at my mind. What should I do? How can I cancel the D-mail that saved Ferris's father? My encounter with the man himself has given birth to an unnecessary internal conflict. I'm about to steal Ferris's father away from her. I need to do it to save Mighty. But does that give me the right to play God? I hear a knock, and then the door opens. Kyoma! Ferris, you're still not sleeping. Hmm? Normally, Ferris would have added Nia to the end of that question. Without waiting for an answer, Ferris steps inside. Then she sits next to me on the bed. She's not wearing her cat ears. So, no. Saki, I'm sorry. 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 Does she have a fever or something? Why is she talking normally? She usually pretends to be a cat girl. Does this mean she's not using her fairest persona right now? Is this the real Akiha Rumiho? It's actually refreshing to hear Ferris talk normally like this. It excites me for some reason, like she's showing a side of herself that no one has ever seen. She slaps me on the knee lightly. What? Even her retort is normal. The person sitting in front of me isn't a cat eared maid, and she isn't the Rynet champion. She's just a normal girl. お母さんがいなかったらどうなっていたか想像するだけでゾッとする言い直すないつも通りの呼び方でいいフェアサイズとにかく今日間には感謝しても仕切れない本当にありがと今日間はね私の王子様だよ I am not used to this Ferris at all. I need her to keep going with the Nia. I need to cat Princess back. Prince? What's with the fairy tale talk? She's giving me goosebumps. Th this calls for Ho and Kyoma. Oh, I'm not a man. I'm a mad scientist. Before I finish, Ferris throws herself on top of me. She wraps her arms around me tightly. What? Ferris? Rumiho. Also, Dada would be extremely jealous right now. Th this is bad. What should I do? What does Ferris want? Yeah. I'm going to 
京馬はどうせ過去に戻ればまたやり直せるのに私を命がけで助けてくれただから京馬の望むことを私も叶えてあげたいって思うだが I swallowed the rest of my words granting my wish would mean erasing her father's existence my heart aches It was like this with Tsuzaha too. I erased everything that Tsuzaha had shared with us in 2010, including her memories of meeting her father. I did it for the sake of my personal goal to save Mayuri. Must I once again sacrifice someone else's dream? Still clinging to me, Ferris looks down and begins her story. その日だけはお仕事をお休みして一緒に遊びに行こうってお願いしてたんだ当時はまだパパの会社は大きくなくてパパは毎日朝から晩までずっと働き続けてたから私はちっともパパに会えなかったのパパと過ごせる一日が私が一番欲しかったプレゼントだったパパは約束してくれたよその日は何があってもきっと一緒に過ごそうってでもでもやっぱり急な仕事の予定が入って前日になって約束は破られちゃったのひょっとしてパパは私のこと愛してくれてないんじゃないかってすごく不安になっちゃってだからね私誕生日当日に家でしたのパパに心配してもらいたくてフェリスパーズしてみたいと思って、その日、パパの乗った飛行機が着陸に失敗したんだ。死者は一人だけで、他の乗客はみんな無事だったんだけどね。わあ、what are the odds, right? Don't tell me. その一人がパパだった<笑> That was before the world line changed. 信じられなかったこんなにも世界は私に冷たい運命を押し付けるのかってパパなんかもう知らない死んじゃえばいいんだってそれがパパにかけた最後の言葉になっちゃったそんな言葉で私とパパの関係は永遠に閉ざされちゃったんだ I can hear tears in her voice. 大好きだったのにどうして最後にあんなこと言っちゃったのかなってずっと心の中にパパへの罪悪感があってずっと思ってたタイムマシンがあればいいのにって Then, did they guide us to each other? だからね今日がタイムマシンの話をしている時にこれは神様か仏様か運命様が私に与えてくれたチャンスなんだって思ったのフェイリスルミホ今日はもう話さなくていい<笑>最後まで言わせてフェリス doesn't let go of me she sniffles and wipes away her tears putting on a smile 私はもう満足したからさっきパパが助けに来てくれて私のこととっても大切に思ってくれてるって分かったからこのちょっとだけのご褒美はもう十分楽しいんだからだから変えた過去は元に戻さなきゃだが今日ママユシーはね私にとっても友達なんだよそのマユシーに危機が迫ってるなら私も今日まと同じようにするね
すまない言ったでしょ今のこの現実は現実じゃなくてご褒美なのそれとも夢って言うべきかなもともとパパはこの時代にはいなかった元に戻すだけ夢を見させてくれてありがとう今日も本当にそれでいいんだな<笑> There's berries are facing in my chest すればお前もパパさんを失わず迷いも死なないそういう世界があるかもしれないんだそれを探す努力をもっといいのもういいの Also you will be creating way too many world lines for you to cancel out if it doesn't pan out the way you are hoping for too <clears throat> 私はもう逃げたくないから There's nothing I can say to that. So instead, I tightly embrace her slender body. She's already crying. I don't say anything. Instead, I silently nod. Ferris's body trembles with emotions as I hold her. Her father is sleeping in the room next door, so she probably doesn't want him to hear. She cries into my chest, muffling her sobs. It's almost noon. I feel dizzy. It's like my brain is rusty. My whole body is heavy with fatigue. The pain from my wounds has subsided, thankfully, but in the end, I couldn't sleep a wink. I promised Ferris that we'd commence the operation at noon. Until then, we'd wait at Ferris's apartment. I've already contacted Dadu and the others back at the lab. I told them we'd be performing an experiment today. Kyoma! Ferris. I can see the traces of tears on her face. The sight makes my heart ache. Oh? Her usual speaking habits returned the second she donned her cat ears. What a nifty piece of equipment. <laughs> Maybe I should say wait. Maybe I should say sorry. But I say nothing to Ferris's back as she heads to her father's study. By the time Ferris finishes her farewells with her father and comes out of the study, the phone wave settings are already complete. I contact Dado at the lab and make sure the Braun Tube Workshop's 42 inch CRT is turned on. Now all we have to do is send the D mail. But I hesitate. <sighs> Instead of meeting Ferris's eyes, I look down at my feet. Eternal separation from her father. I wonder what Ferris is thinking now. <clears throat> I 
can't stay sad when Ferris is trying to cheer me up. I steal myself for what I need to do. Yesterday, just before she left the room, Ferris told me the content of the first email she sent. 100 mil for your kid. Take the train. That mail stopped her father from getting on the airplane. As a result, he didn't die. <clears throat> but that wasn't the only effect it had on the timeline. Her father needed to sell the IBM 5100 to prepare the 100 million yen ransom. As a result, Ferris never donated the IBM 5100 to Yanabayashi Shrine. With her father alive, Ferris didn't participate in Akihabara's city development conferences. Otaku-oriented businesses never took root in Akiba. May Queen Yan Yan never opened. Ferris wasn't as busy, which allowed her to join the Rainet tournament circuit. In other words, this world line's Ferris has a normal life. On the world line I came from, Ferris was not only a student, but also the heir to her father's company, an influential member of the Akihabara Development Board, and a part-time maid waitress. Which life is better for her? Which will give her greater happiness? That's not my decision. It's hers. And her decision is to return to the way things were. I'm just here to help her wake up from this dream. Ferris has already entered the cancellation email. JK on Ransom. I love you, Papa. See you soon. These are Ferris's true last words to her father. そんなことはあるものか。きっと覚えてるさ。なぜならお前は今過去を変える前と変えた後、両方の記憶を持っているだろう。yeah, that's what I was thinking. I'm like, I don't think you're gonna forget anymore. だから、あんなに必死にフェイリスを助けてくれたのかにゃ。それは、その解釈は自由だ。I feel my cheeks get warm, so I hang my head to hide my face. フェイリスは今日までの時間を忘れたくないにゃ。ありがとう。I take Ferris's phone. I'm sorry, Ferris. I lied to you. Alright, let me save here. Because I have a feeling. And it seems like that's how it's going to play out, too. Let me open this new one. I can choose to make the call now. Or I can not do it and see what ending I get. Because I feel like this is going to lead to a Ferris ending. So... Let's find out. When we change things back to the way they were, your memories of this world line will almost certainly disappear. Perhaps another miracle will happen, and you'll regain your memories of, the, of this world line too. But I can't be sure. There are no guarantees. And so, I will engrave these memories onto my heart. The memory of Ferris, the Rhinet champion. The memory of her father who gave thanks to a stranger like me for protecting his daughter. I will carry them for you always. Nah, I'm gonna see the ending I get with her. It must be done. For my Yuri's sake. I must erase Ferris's memories just as I did Suzuha's. There's no other way. Also, this whole chapter was focused on her, and it's probably because of one of the choices I made earlier on, too. So I'm kind of curious to see what would happen if I chose another one. And since I'm already dead set on her path, I might as well finish it off. I gave Ferris her phone back. No. Don't jump to conclusions. We should explore the other methods. After all, her father's life hangs in the balance. See, this time it's me making this decision, unlike his previous one, which was incredibly stupid. <laughs> I don't have what it takes to be a god. That burn is too much for me to bear.
Ferris' his father is still at home, so we go to the UPX cafe to talk. Alright everyone, I'm gonna end it here for today. Thank you all for watching. I feel like I've set another path, another world line where I stay with Ferris, so we'll find out how it all comes to a head, if anything, and or if it continues on. So I'll see you all in the next one. Thank you all for watching.